All right, so check it out. It's Trevor James. I just got into Xining, China. This is the land of Hui Chinese. And today we're going for a full on Chinese street food tour. I'm so pumped. Let's go check it out. As you make your way further west in China, you'll notice more and more Hui Chinese and Tibetans and a new and different variety of street food. If you're dreaming of traveling along the Silk Road, you'll be rewarded with a huge selection of delicious street food when you come. We came here as the first stop on our long journey west to Kashgar and found some of the most delicious and unique street food in China. This video is packed with street food, starting out with some beef organ delight. All right, so first up, we're gonna get some za sui. It's like mixed organ soup. Huge lineup. Look at this, there's like all this construction. People are just sitting at the tables in the dirt, but I can smell it. We're coming up to the, the beautiful mixed organ soup here. Julie, how trima? Ah, well, make sure go. This is za sui, ma. Za sui. Ah, tai hao la. Oh, this is crazy. Ni hao. Ni hao. za sui. Oh, it's so busy. Oh, look at all the organs. Oh, 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 We heard that this new za sui, aka beef awful soup, was a must try thing here in Xining. So we lined up to taste the richest and creamiest organ broth made by stewing the organs of beef for hours. It was served with pita bread to dip and the location was completely packed. That's when you know something is good. Oh, look at all the organs and that rich broth. Just look at, look at him chop the organs over there. That is really... There's so much. There's like stomach and intestine and liver and oh, great. Let's go try this out. Wow, it's like on a construction site. Oh, oh, can you ma? Thank you. This is good, ma. Good. Ah, very good. I didn't eat. You didn't eat. This is my first time. <laughs> okay, well, this looks absolutely insane. Look at all the organs in here. Oh, there's like so many. There's tripe, there's intestine, there's stomach. Oh, oh and the broth is so rich and thick. I think I'm just going to have to go right in, get a big bite of organs and, and report on that flavor. Let's try it out. Mmm. Oh. Oh. Mm. Mm. That is actually very delicious. There's nothing nothing too overpowering and gross about it. The organ flavor is totally smooth and actually quite clean and enjoyable. Oh, that is really nice. Chinchangchang来这里嘛，嗯，清汤吃，清汤吃嘛，这个是徽族的啊，清清真，清真清真，啊，很好，put a little la this is awesome. Coming deep into Xining, 
for Qingzhen. Qingzhen Thai. Qingzhen Thai. You gotta come for Qingzhen. Qingzhen Thai Thai Hao Chula. So that was awesome. The broth was so complex. Now we're gonna go see what other Qingzhen halal specialties we can find. All right, so we are in a Hui neighborhood. This is all Qingzhen food here, halal food. And we're gonna have a lot of it today. This is like a huge Hui Chinese neighborhood. It's just all street food. After that delicious breakfast, we walked around and discovered a teaser for what was to come in Xinjiang, Uyghur flatbread, AKA Nang. Handmade dough is flattened and stamped and put onto a wet cloth over top of a round, spherical, almost shield-like presser. It's then pushed deep into the oven and baked with sesame seeds. And every nong is slightly different, as we're gonna see in this series, but most are incredibly delicious when hot out of the oven. Oh. <laughs> Oh, now, uh, oh, look at this. Look at all the nang here. Niman fang, uh, jirma. Hayo shama dong shi. Jidan. Yunai. Yunai. Oh, in a big tandoor. Oh, here we go. Nang. Sishini. Oh, and tang. And look at how beautiful that is. Very wholesome, very, very wholesome, and, and actually, even though it's a white bread, the sesame flavor and the crispness, there's a definite crisp, smoky texture that, that really, mmm, that really gives it life. Oh, Oh. All right, we've got some. Oh, Mmm. Oh, and and Jen Zong da. Yes, Jen Zong. Not Shou Gong da. Yes, Jen Zong. Not Oh, I have a Fujin, how you better how to do it? Fujin, you just take shot out of the shot out So we're on the way to get shao zi mian, hand pulled kui zu noodles. Mm, this is going to be a wonderful month of eating halal Qingjian food. This is just the beginning of the Silk Road journey. We've got a month of taking trains, finding little villages, and eating delicious halal Chinese street food. This is going to be good. Can't wait. I think we found the jackpot. This is his recommendation right here. What we stumbled into was just one of many incredibly delicious hand-pulled noodle joints scattered all throughout Xining. When you walk in and witness the locals slurping their noodles in delight and see and hear the slap of the noodles before they enter the giant noodle cauldron, you can feel the magic and soul that's put into each and every bowl of hand-pulled noodles. This is awesome. Wow. Just look at this. This is what dreams are made of. It starts with a giant mound of dough that stretch into smaller blocks, which are then individually pulled into noodles. Wow.
可以吃一碗嘛？可以吃。呃，这个勺子面、oh. 看起来很好吃的。Oh, that is total noodle heaven. Oh, I'm gonna get one of those. 这个是勺子面嘛？勺子面。啊，勺子面。勺子面。Oh, okay. 啊，太好了。We're gonna get one of those. We're gonna get a 勺子面 Just look at that. The slurping, you can just hear the slurping. You know it's a good spot when everyone is slurping. Oh, you guys are shouting me in, ma. Oh, I have the oh, wow, big fat noodles in. It's almost like a gloopy gravy with lots of chili oil and tofu slices, green onions, and oh, I can, I can smell how peppery it is. Oh yeah. Then this is. 加肉嘛，加肉，他你们吃什么肉？牛肉嘛，那个是牛肉嘛，哦，在哪里嘛？哦、oh, ，We're gonna get some of that。这个可以吃吗？啊，可以。哦，赶快吃，一会儿吐了不好吃了。好好好了，哦，谢谢你。Oh, look at that. That looks really fatty, actually. But、uh, we're gonna start off with the beef. Mmm, tender. Mm, quite fatty. Original flavor, slightly salted. Mmm. Oh. Oh, it tastes quite almost herbal and peppery, and the gravy is is gloopy. The green onions give it a really fresh, fresh, nice punch of of joy. After that delicious bowl of hand pulled noodles. We went for a walk and stumbled upon the largest mosque in Xining. And while I was taking some videos of it, a local man told us we could go inside to take photos. And it just happened to be Friday call to prayer. So we are going to enter this huge mosque in downtown Xining. It's really beautiful, and we just had a great bowl of noodles. Amazing noodles, right? Nice people. And really friendly people. Everybody here, honestly, like everybody here is smiling at us as we walk past. This is really beautiful here. Whoa! Yeah. Hello. Everybody is so friendly. Everybody is so friendly. Wow. Look at this, guys. It seems like it's a mix between. Chinese and uh, the normal mosque you would see. This is really something, Ting. What do you think? Yeah. It's beautiful, right? And look at this. Just look at this. After a bowl of noodles, yeah, I think we can just sit down and and and, and chill. Let's do that. This is really nice to come to Xining and eat the food and meet all of these amazingly friendly people. Wow, I'm actually blown away. What about you, Ting? But I have to say that it is like 
really, people here are so friendly and uh, I'm just blown away. Okay, so we just spoke with a local who said we can come in and shoot, but they just started the call to prayer and the prayer begins in an hour and you cannot shoot during that. So we're gonna leave just to be respectful. But that was a, what an experience coming in here. After that big mosque exploration, we went for a walk to find a specific bowl of noodles I had heard a lot about. Stuff sheep's intestine noodles. This is it. Yang Chang Ma. Oh. Oh, look at the Yang Chang. She yung Lajama. Hayo Shamadongshi. Just look at this Yang Chang. It's boiling. It's being boiled in chilies. Oh, looks strong. And then he's making noodles in the back here. Hayo Niman de So, so. Yang Ro Char, Mian, Shoja Yang Ro, Hayo Yang Chang, Do Yo. Okay. Now we'll call you Dolcher Ma. What's your Iga Mian? Iga Yang Chang? Iga Shoja Yang Ro? Hayo Kao Yang Ro Char, Kay Ma. Kay. Oh, awesome. We're getting a big piece of lamb and some tosa mian and some oh, lamb intestine. How was as we began to discover, as you move further west in China, mutton and meat is a huge part of the culture and diet of the locals. Lamb kebabs, organs, and noodles with big chunks of meat are the norm. And what we walked into here was just one little noodle joint that locals love to get their meat fix at. Big hand grasp mutton chunks and lamb kebabs are grilled over the flame with cumin and chili. And the noodles we ordered were topped with stuffed lamb intestine. Oh, yang chang mian ma. Tai hao la. Oh. Whoa. Namadoro. Look at this. Oh. This is just like a mutton feast. We've got the shou dry yang ro here. Oh. Which is just like mutton on the bone. And, and they chopped it up. Oh. And they grilled it in a lot of dried chili paste. Oh, look at how tender and covered in sauce that looks. Classic Yang Ro Chua over here. Oh man. And then the real, the real treats, a, a bowl of noodles that I've never experienced before. Yang Chang Mian, look at that. There's potato, there's Yang Chang, which is lamb intestine. And it's it looks like it's Gam Ban style, so you've got to mix it up. Oh, and there's potatoes and green onions and lots of chilies. Oh, look at all of that. This is totally different from Sichuan chili oil. I can just smell it. It smells like it has vinegar in it. And it smells like it's a little bit drier and has more chilies, less oil. Oh, this yang chang, actually it's, it's lamb in, intestine with lamb heart and lung and flour stuffed on the inside. I think there's also a bit of garlic and salt and of course lots of chili that it's that it's fried in. Oh, let's try it out. Mmm. 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 This, this yang chang actually almost exactly tastes like blood sausage, so I wouldn't be surprised if they put some blood in there. It's totally, it's totally enjoyable. That's the texture that it has, and it gives it a lot of flavor and a lot of texture and juice when you have these noodles. This is it. Ah, thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Those intestine noodles really grew on me by the end. What a great day here in Xining, and this is just the beginning of our Silk Road journey. So you're gonna wanna, you're gonna wanna stay tuned because this series is gonna have a lot of delicious food. So please click that thumbs up button, leave me a comment down below, and click that subscribe button as well if you haven't already because this series is gonna be a lot of fun. Thanks a lot, guys.